I was very apprehensive from day one. Al Gidding's experience as an underwater cinematographer is vast. His knowledge of ocean submersibles is extremely valuable at a time when the rest of us know so little about how they operate underwater. An implosion, he explains, is of course the reverse of an explosion. This as opposed to this. And uh, an implosion is instant under those pressures. It was very forgiving. I mean, considering the other possibilities of, of how they, they might have died, it was sort of a blessing. Giddings has High gone down 12,460 feet to the depths of the Titanic wreckage 17 times on the mere submersible operated by the Russian Academy of Sciences. He spent up to 20 hours at a time shooting documentaries on the mirror, and in 1994, the movie The Titanic with director James Cameron. The mirror was made of titanium, the walls four and a half inches thick, as opposed to the Titan, which had a carbon fiber construction. There's not much comparison. I mean, one is way uh, more capable of, of those depths. He was surprised that well-known French veteran diver Paul Nargelet was in the doomed submersible. Nargelet, who along with Robert Ballard, discovered the Titanic wreckage in 1985. He would have known the shortcomings of that design. Giddings also points out they likely could not have survived the freezing temperatures inside for a long period of time, which he himself experienced. At the end of 21 hours, it would be in the 30s, and we would have layered on all these clothes because of the, the duration of the dive. After a number of underwater excursions, Gidding said the submersible was likely stressed. It would show signs of fatigue and time through this compression and decompression and compression and decompression process. I think those people in the know would say it was unfortunately a disaster waiting to happen.